Hello everyone. Today we are starting our new chapter that is chapter 7 fractions. Before starting this chapter, before starting the exercises of this chapter, today we will be discussing some definitions related to this chapter. The first definition is fractions. What what is a fraction? Here I have written the definition. A fraction is a number representing part of a whole. A fraction is a number of the form p upon q such that q is not equal to zero or one. Some examples of fractions are also given below. Before starting the examples, before discussing the examples, first we will look at the definition again. They are saying a fraction is a number representing part of a whole. Part of a whole. Some of the, uh, suppose if we will divide one object into some parts. into we will divide it into some parts then we can easily write its fraction suppose suppose this is your circle i have divided the circle into four parts i have divided it into four parts and one of the part is shaded there was one circle there was one big circle and i have divided this circle into four parts and one of those four parts is shaded so how can we write the fraction of this shaded part how can we write it in fractional form here first of all whenever we are writing the fraction there are two types of fraction there are two parts of fraction first one is your numerator numerator means that will come in the uh, at the upper side another one is your denominator means that the number that is written at the bottom so one more thing whenever we have to write the denominator we always write the total quantity as the denominator i have divided the circle into two into four parts so how many total parts were there there were total four parts so four will come in the denominator and how many parts are being shaded one of the part out of four parts one part is shaded so one will come in the numerator since we were writing the fraction of the shaded part that's why the one of the part is shaded that's why one has came in the numerator tot out of four parts one was shaded that's why four has came in the denominator so let us come to the definition again a fraction is a number representing part of a whole so this is the whole portion i have divided this portion into four parts total parts are four that's why i have written four in the denominator and out of four parts how many are shaded only one is shaded since we have to write the fraction of the shaded portion that's why one will come in the numerator so this is the number that was that is that I, that was written above the number that was written above that this is your numerator the number that is written at the bottom this is your denominator so next line is a fraction is a number of the form p upon q here we have uh, just uh, um, written the journal form of the fraction journal form means i have written it using the alphabets so this p is your numerator and q is your denominator such that q is not equal to 0 or 1 such that q means your denom denominator will never be 0 or 1 so here i have given some examples also 1 upon 2 5 upon 4 9 upon 2 20 upon 100 are all fractions so fractions are written in the form of p upon q means in the form of numerator upon denominator the upper one is your numerator the bottom one is your denominator similarly here 5 is your numerator 4 is your denominator 9 is the numerator 2 is the denominator 20 is the numerator 100 is the denominator all these are your fractions now there are some types of fraction let us let us start with the types of fractions the first type there uh, some of the fractions the three major types of fractions are proper fraction improper fraction and mixed fraction first we will be starting with the proper fraction a fraction where numerator is less than the denominator then it is known as a proper fraction generally when we were talking about the fraction then in that case we have written some examples it was 1 upon 2 it was 5 upon 4 it was 9 upon 2 it was 20 upon 100 here we have not bothered that uh, that the numerator should be smaller than the denominator or the numerator can be greater than the uh, denominator but when we talk about the types of fraction in that case the first type is your proper fraction 
when we discuss about the proper fraction a fr uh, proper fraction is a fraction where numerator is less than the numerator when we talk about the proper fraction we should the first thing that we that comes in our mind is that the numerator should be less than the denominator numerator should be smaller than the denominator so here you can see the examples the first example is your 3 upon 5 as you all know that 3 is your numerator and 5 is your denominator so numerator is smaller than the denominator numerator is less than the new denominator let's come to our second example the second example is 9 upon 12 9 upon 12 again numerator is less than the denominator 2 upon 6 again numerator is less than the, the denominator so just keep in mind to uh, keep this in mind whenever we talk about the proper fraction we should have one thing very clear that the numerator is less in a proper fraction numerator is less than the denominator next type is your improper fraction improper fraction means a fraction where the numer numerator is greater than the denominator in your proper fraction the numerator was less than the denominator but when we talk about the improper fraction the numerator is always greater than the denominator so there is a slight difference between proper and, Im and improper fraction when we talk about the proper the numerator is less than the denominator when we talk about improper the numerator is greater than the denominator then it is known as improper fraction here you can look at the examples 9 upon 5, 6 upon 2, 10 upon 6. Here I have given some three examples. As you all can see in my first example, the first example is 9 upon 5. The numerator is 9, denominator is 5. So numerator is greater than the denominator. 6 upon 2, again numerator is greater than the denominator. 10 upon 6, again numerator is greater than the denominator. Next is your mixed fraction. A mixed fraction is the combination of a natural number and a fraction. Whenever previously when we were talking about the proper and improper fraction we were simply talking about the fractions. But whenever we are writing the mixed fraction we always include a natural number as well as the fraction means it is the combination of both natural number natural number and fraction it is basically an improper fraction means when we will convert our mixed fraction into the form when we will just round off that mixed fraction we always get an improper fraction here i have written a line we can express a mixed fraction as an improper fraction as how can we convert the mixed fraction into the form of improper fraction there is a simple formula to do that it is natural number multiplied by denominator plus numerator divided by denominator so natural number multiply by denominator plus numerator for numerator i have written n u m divided by denominator the whole thing the whole thing is divided by the denominator here here you can look at the example the mixed fraction are written in this form one whole it can be called as one whole one upon two one is your whole number so 1 whole 1 upon 2 next is your 5 whole 3 upon 7 2 whole 3 upon 4 one more thing that is very important is this one this is your natural number and 1 upon 4 this fraction is always a proper fraction jab fraction mix form mein fraction ko include kiya jata hai ek to aapka natural number hota hai dusra jo fraction hota hai that is always a proper fraction lekin jab hum isse convert karte hain to ye hamesha improper fraction ke form mein convert hota hai i'll show some examples then it will be clear to you one whole to it can be called as one whole one upon four 5 whole 3 upon 7 2 whole 3 upon 4 here you all can see that 1 is 5 is your natural number 3 upon 7 is a proper fraction 2 is your natural number 3 upon 4 is a proper fraction so you can say that mixed fraction fraction is always a combination of natural number and a proper fraction instead of writing only fraction you can write it as proper fraction also so all these are your mixed fraction how can we use this formula suppose this is your example 1 whole 1 upon 4 the example is 1 upon 1 whole 1 upon 4 and i have to convert it into the form of improper fraction how can we convert there was a formula natural number multiplied by denominator plus numerator divided by denominator how can we convert this is your natural number 1 natural number multiplied by denominator the denominator is 4 plus numerator the numerator is 1 
divided by denominator again the denominator is 4 this was written in bracket so first of all according to board mass rule first of all we will solve the bracket 1 multiplied by 4 will be 4 plus 1 divided by 4 and it will be 5 upon 4 c when we have converted it when we have just solved this mixed form we have got the answer into the form of improper fraction so when you write mixed fraction likhenge, it is always a combination of a natural number and a proper fraction but when you convert it it is always in improper fraction ki form mein convert hota hai. keep this in mind now let us come the three major form of types of fraction were proper fraction improper fraction and mixed fraction but there are two more types of fraction that is a like, like fraction and unlike fraction let us start with the like fractions the fraction which have the same denominators are called like fractions here you can see the examples 1 upon 2 3 upon 2 5 upon 2 7 upon 2 all these are your fraction but one thing is common among them that two uh, for all the new mm, sorry fractions 2 is the denominator of all the fractions 2 is common among them 1 upon 2 3 upon 2 5 upon 2 7 upon 2 all the fractions have common denominator that is 2 are like fractions so keep this in mind what are the like fractions the fraction which have the same denominator wo fractions jinka denominator same hota hai it can be 2 it can be any other number all those fractions are called as like fractions Next is your unlike fractions. Unlike fractions are the fractions which have unequal denominator or different denominator. Like fractions, wo hote hain, that like fractions are the uh, fractions which have the same denominator. And unlike fractions are just the opposite of like fractions. They have different denominators. So the fractions which have unequal denominators, unequal means jo equal na ho, or different denominators are called unlike fractions. Example. 1 upon 2, 1 upon 3, 1 upon 4, 1 upon 5 are unlike fractions. Here you all can see that the denominators are different. For first fraction, the denominator is 2, another one is 3, then 4, then 5. For all the fractions, the denominator is different. So these are all these are your types of fraction. One more type is left that we will be discussed with the exercise when, when we will start the exercise. So thank you. That's all for today.